Today I'm going to show you how to utilize a prescription map with the Fieldstar 5 or Datatronic 5 console by Massey Ferguson. Today I'm in a Massey 7700S with a Fieldstar 5 console. Prescriptions can be loaded into this console via USB or via cellular with Task.Pro. Pro. In this case, I already have a prescription written on a USB stick. So let's go ahead and import it now. From the home menu, if we go to the main menu, into the folder, which is your task dock. Here we can set our task dock connection type, which right now it's set to USB. If we set to Bluetooth or GPRS for cellular, in this case we're gonna do USB. To import a task, we need to go into the USB data exchange window. Here I can see the task that I already have on the stick. Let's go ahead and import that in. So if we select the task you want and hit import. By the way, you can choose what files you want to see by the top menu for your data type. So here we have the list of fields that are on the stick and then also on the computer. We want to change this to task data to see the task data accordingly. Now on the left side, it will show the booked or completed task. We can view those booked tasks with the eye. It will show you a little bit more information such as date and time and size. Or we can also delete that from the console as well. All right, now we're ready to start a task. So if we go into the task list, here we see our ACO Jackson task. From here, we can add or delete more information that you want to add into the task. If you want to add more information, you hit the Add Categories button, such as Farm, Worker, Product Group, etc. In this case, we already have everything we need. More specifically, this has a Fertilizer of Lime prescription. If we want to view that prescription as a whole, we can select the eye, and it will show us the map, as well as the treatment zone settings. Here we have a rate zones of zero to 20 pounds per acre. Here we can start recording the task. We can also record the task, start recording from the map screen. So if we go back to our map screen, let's take a look at what we can do from there for easy, quick control. The top left corner, our current task status is paused, indicated by the pause icon. If I touch this once, it will start recording. As you can see here, the task is now ready. However, it is important that we have the correct field loaded in your guidance menu. So if we go to our guidance field list, make sure and have your correct field loaded here. In this case, we already do. All right, as you can see, I am outside my current boundary. I have a particular setting in your section control that will also cause the spreader not to spread or plant or spray outside the boundary here. So now we're ready to start the spreader. So if we go to your ISO operating mask, we'll hit start for spreading. Notice my target rate is now locked out. It's currently zero because I am in a zero rate zone. If we go to our map, all right, let's start driving and spreading fertilizer. Once I get across my boundary, it will start spreading based on my section control settings. It is important that you may want to see your as applied data. So we can see that data by choosing the map layer accordingly. So if we touch the map, go to your gear, go to your map layers, here we can choose to have fertilizer spreader in this case, so this will be the name of your implement, this is your as applied data, or we can look at the, the actual full prescription itself, as you can see here. Most commonly we'd want to watch the as applied data, so I'll switch back to that. And you can see here the colors will change based on the different rate zones that I'm in. Right now I'm doing two pounds per acre. So if I look at the ISO operating mask for the fertilizer spreader, I'm at two pounds per acre. And this will change depending on what treatment zone I'm currently in. When you're done with a task, we're ready to complete it or book it. So I'm going to come to a stop. We will press and hold the task doc settings here. We'll go to our task doc menu. Now we are ready to book it this picture of the cloud with arrows, that is basically the book or complete task button. Gives us a summary. You can press OK. That will complete the task. You will get an export finished. Now it is ready for transfer via USB. If we go back to our USB data exchange, there that completed task is. We can transfer that to the stick. Now we are ready to view that with an FMIS. By the way, if you no longer need the task on the terminal, I recommend that you delete it to prevent excessive memory consumption. There we go. 
variable rate technology with the Massey Ferguson Datatronic 5 or Fieldstar 5 console. Thanks for watching.